And now a very strange uh, moment as we welcome Ben Baby Smith uh, onto the podcast for the first time as a guest. Hello. Yeah. That is weird. The baby returns. Yeah, so you're not in charge at this point. It does feel strange. I mean, whenever in all, all the years I've been involved with the show, I'm here or or there or wherever it's been yes. recorded, you are never there. That's 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 key. Yeah. So it does it does feel strange now being on the other side. It feels, it feels weirder for me. It's like two. Yeah, there's two of us now. It's like okay, I don't know which who who's in. What do I do? I've got Sanjeev in a cab on the way down. <laughs> so really freak you out. So so Ben, he's here with psychotherapist Sasha Bates to talk about the latest podcast, Shrink the Box, which launches on Tuesday. Sasha, first of all, um, we, so we know about Ben. Uh, tell us about your work as a therapist, and then we'll talk about Shrink the Box. Um, yeah, I've been working as a therapist for oh god over a decade now. Um, it was a second career. I actually started off in television myself. I was a director and producer, and I think that when you direct and produce, you get really interested in people's stories. And I got to nearing forty and thought, actually, um, I kind of want to go deeper. I want to know more about people in a in a in a way that's been more helpful than shoving them on television so I retrained and it was the best thing I ever did because you get to know people so intimately tell us about the pod and what you're trying to do well I think th the main thing is we we, we want to celebrate what you guys I guess would call you know film adjacent television so the tv with a, a real cinematic epic feel to it you know the, I'm thinking the worlds of mad men the queen's gambit sopranos the wire but we're taking one particular character uh, and usually from you know the 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 uh, initial series the first series where they're being established and trying to get inside their heads so you know for want of a better phrase putting them on Sasha's couch uh, uh, for an hour and, and and sort of breaking down what makes them tick um and it comes from a place of love for the show initially first and foremost of course so we get to celebrate and, and rewatch these great shows along with our listeners, I hope. Um, but uh, then really trying to get inside their heads and see also, I guess, what, what we can learn from it. And, and for me, like being back in therapy as well, it's like a perfect, uh, it seems to sit so nicely. I, I love talking, obviously. <laughs> and then talking about myself, perfect. <laughs> Watching classic shows, superb. Having someone with the mind of Sasha next to me to actually stop me just waffling about absolute nonsense and bring, making it more concise, more insightful. You've never managed to do that. It's a perfect, Sorry perfect fit for me, you know. So just give us, just give us the the cast list um, that you have on this. Oh yeah, who have we got first? Uh, we start with Tony Soprano. Kind of going um, meta on the first one. Yeah, because <laughs> he's he's in therapy himself, so we get a look at him in, in therapy whilst also looking at him as a as a person. Um, um, we've got Walter White from Breaking Bad, um, Beth from Queen's Gambit, you mentioned, yeah. um, Omar from The Wire. Yeah, that new show, The Wire, Mark. Yeah, 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 <laughs> that I discovered really, during yeah, lockdown. Yeah, you'd be really excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to do Shiv from Succession. Oh, we're going to do Arabella. Arabella from I May Destroy You. You. Yeah, such an amazing character. Don Draper Don from Draper. Mad Men. Fleabag? Fleabag, yes. yeah. Fleabag we've, Don, we've got yeah. some great there's, women. There's more American... <laughs> shows in there the British shows would that yeah, be yeah right? I think that's that's a hundred percent true but what we want to try and do over time is even that out and always retain a balance of of male characters female characters um uh, mixed backgrounds and stuff like that so we can try and have uh like the, a, a viewpoint of all types of, of human beings I guess represented within these great shows and we've also begun largely with drama Fleabag's the closest we've got to comedy but we're not averse to a, a George Costanza you know <laughs> we're, we're not averse to a Reginald Perrin absolutely <laughs> not so I, I mean I'd love to get into a, a whole comedy season mm. of uh, of Shrink the Box uh, Sashi very kindly uh, agreed to watch it says here two of our favourite films I'd say two of yeah two of our well, your favourite film and my favourite well, film well I guess so yes are you mean you guess so? Amadeus <laughs> is your favourite film and The Exorcist is my favourite film. I mean, film. I just always say Amadeus because it's easier to say Amadeus than any other. Oh, I say Exorcist because I mean it. Okay. Our two favourite films, Amadeus and The Exorcist. Thank and you you're, very much. You're putting the, so you're putting, well, you're putting Wolfgang. Are you putting Wolfgang or are you putting Salieri? Salieri. On so Salieri, oh mm. my goodness me, there's, <laughs> there's a complex character. And and who are you from Exorcist? Um, Father Karras. Okay, oh, wow, Father okay, Karras. fine. Okay. Mm, right. what, which do you want to do first? I don't mind. Okay. <laughs> do well, Amadeus first because I think 
Okay, yeah. so let's let's have court composer Salieri uh, on your couch. So the show is called Shrink the Box. Uh, ben and Sasha, thank you very much. It launches on Tuesday and will appear. If you're a Vanguard East, it will appear in your uh, feed on Tuesday. Ben and Sasha, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it. While you're here, check out all the other videos because they're cool too, aren't they? Yeah, and if you want to keep up to date with everything Kermit and Mayo's take, then check out our social channels. I mean, why wouldn't you? I mean, I, I would. I have done. Excellent.